Distal radius fractures are common fractures of the upper limb. This video will go through the common fracture eponyms seen in the distal radius. The most common type are known as Coley's fractures, which are usually due to falling onto an outstretched hand. The distal fragment will have a dorsal displacement, dorsal angulation, and radial shortening, which in turn can lead to dorsal comminution. This deformity gives rise to a silver fork appearance on x-rays. Smith fractures are due to forces applied onto the dorsal surface of the hands and wrists. In the Thomas classification of Smith fractures, a type 1 Smith fracture is an extra-articular fracture with a palmar angulation and displacement of the distal fragment. This gives rise to a garden spade appearance on x-rays. A type 2 Smith fracture is an intra-articular fracture with a volar displacement of the fragment and carpus. This is also known as a volar Barton's fracture. In contrast, a dorsal Barton's fracture will result in a dorsal and proximal displacement of the carpus and distal fragment. A type 3 Smith fracture is an extra-articular fracture with a volar displacement of the distal fragment and carpus. A chauffeur fracture involves a fracture of the radial styloid and results in the ulnar displacement of the carpus. And finally, a die punch fracture results from the axial loading onto the radius, resulting in a depression in the lunate fossa. Distal radius fractures can be classified based on the mechanism of injury, joint involvement, and displacement. The AO classification is the most comprehensive and broadly divides fractures into extra-articular, partial-articular, and complete-articular.